What's going on everyone? Coin Roll King here. I'm back at you with another amazing episode. So this is going to be a little bit of everything. We've got a cool unboxing here. Probably not what you're expecting it to be. It is coin related though. So this is going to be fun to open. I've also got some more pocket change. So this will be, I guess, episode one and a half for pocket change. As you can see, there's not a ton of it as uh, as there was last time in here. Uh, but this is probably just about a day's and a half to two days worth of uh, coins that I thought were interesting that I found at work and in our pocket change. And then last but not least, I've got three amazing rolls here. These rolls, as you guys may or may not know, um, are pretty exciting rolls to have. Um, I'll show you the last one first because it's probably the least exciting of the three. Uh, we've got the Crossing the Delaware here on the one side that I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of. Uh, but the main reason that I picked this roll up here was because we had one of these really cool enders here. I believe this is the 1976 commemorative ender. So that's the main reason I picked up this roll. I'm not sure if we'll have any more of these, but I will say I have been finding a few of these quarters recently in pocket change. So that would be amazing to open this up and find three, four, five, who knows, maybe even 10 of these. That would be super cool. So we are gonna open this roll up today. Uh, this first roll here, we are not gonna open up. Uh, I do have another one of these. Washington the new Washington head quarter rolls which is this metal one here with the super cool um, ob obverse I guess is or sorry the reverse is what this would be here and my apologies that I do not remember uh, this lady's name uh, but if I'm not mistaken she just recently went to the moon if I am not mistaken Please do not destroy me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, I'm just really excited to share these with you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open these up. So actually, this one itself, again, this one we're not going to open up because I really like that it's got the Washington head, the new Washington head on one end. And then we've got this uh, this lady here, this astronaut, I guess I'd want to call her. Is I, th I believe she is an astronaut, a fully fully trained and fully deserved astronaut on our coin there. So that's super amazing. So let's uh, let's set this one off to the side since we will be keeping that one. Uh, this is the one here that we're gonna open up. Oh wow, I didn't, I couldn't notice, I couldn't tell that damage there on this end at work. I was probably just so excited to uh, pick these up and I did pick these up at work, actually. So that's kind of, uh, it's kind of cheating in a way, I guess you will. But um, my bank just can't seem to get a hold of quarters um, for me, which is totally fine. Um, if they can continue to just get me half dollars, actually not even halves. Um, the halves have been pretty dry. I've got, I've got about 10 rolls over there that we still need to do a video on, so... Halves are pretty dry still. Um, let's go ahead and open this up while I'm talking. Let's walk and talk at the same time here with my handy dandy uh, little knife I've got. And this one is going to be the, on one side we've got that crossing the Delaware, and on the other we've got this really cool one that I want to keep. Um, but yeah, like I said, can't really get too much of the halves. I'm more than happy to just continue receiving those Ike dollar bags that you guys love so much. And I do have some good news. Uh, the bank did call and they do have just one more bag for me. Um, although it is just one more bag, I'm super excited to have it. I'm hoping we can continue to get those bags just because, well, you never know. You never know with all the coin shortages and everything that's going on. Um, I really, like I said, I, I do feel blessed to uh, be even receiving half, or sorry, uh, Eisenhower dollars as it is. But 
um, you know, it's just something you got to be grateful for. If I can't get the half dollars, that's totally fine with me. Let's start on this end. I kind of like this, uh, the fact that we had that. Oh, look at that. That's kind of, that's definitely gnarly there. It looks like it's seen better days. Yeah, so here we have our nice commemorative quarter. Yeah, 1776 to 1976 bicentennial here. <laughs> this is the main reason that I picked up this roll, just for this single coin. If we had more inside of it, that would be amazing. Uh, but if we didn't, that would be totally fine. Uh, that's kind of sad that this uh, 2004 is completely just destroyed. Uh, this uh, Lowell coin here is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, usually not a big fan of uh, keeping quarters too much. But I might make an exception for that. We'll set it off to the side for now. Try not to think about it too long. And then some of these, I uh, some of these when I pick them up, I like to set them aside. Especially if I haven't done maybe a short on them to uh, kind of see see what their entire meaning was about. See see what they were actually going for. Like even the Salt River is really nice, but it is newer as well, so we'll kind of keep going there. So we're going to keep three of those for now. Let's see what else we've got inside of this roll here. Yeah, we've got that crossing the Delaware Ender there. This is the Tuskegee Airmen. They fought two wars. This one I'm not sure I've done any reviews on as well. Look at that. We've got another one of those quarters there, 2022. And it is the Maya Angelou quarter. So that's pretty neat. Uh, we have uh, some of these 2022s, and then we have the other ones with the um, with our lovely astronaut there. So definitely uh, unique how they decided to um, keep the same head for the 2022, and uh, or sorry, yeah, for yeah for the 2022 there. Um, and just change the uh, obverse. That crossing the Delaware there, 2021. All right, let me kind of get through these a little bit more. I'm getting a little excited. I've seen some quarters here that I haven't necessarily seen in a while. And again, that's more or less because I guess I probably don't look at quarters as often as I should. It's almost like I'm starting to get forced to look at quarters. This one's interesting. Chaco, Chaco culture. And again, my apologies if I mispronounce that. And this one does look in really good condition, actually, for a 2012. This is a 10-year-old quarter, and it looks almost as good as the ones that are coming out of the mint right now as you can see there so yeah we'll definitely go ahead and hold on to this one and this is one of those p mint marks the rim on this looks nice as well not too much damage not not nearly any damage i'd say that's probably the coolest find besides our bicentennial here so we'll go ahead and set those two off to the side let's see if there's anything else inside of here uh let's see i think that one is pretty worn and then 2020 this uh bat combination here definitely uh seen better years i'm sure as some of you guys as well glad to be coming out of that whole uh ordeal that we recently went through all right so let's go ahead and get all of these quarters that did not pass back inside of the holder there it's definitely an interesting one we've got about five quarters that i decided to keep let's set that off to the side let's open this one up since i know this is kind of the more interesting coin rule that we've got for today well who knows it might just end up being a bunch of the same right but 
that would be nice. I almost feel like I shouldn't open this, but it looks like we're already there, so oh well. Um, I definitely keep that one sealed just because, like I said, it's a little bit more appealing to the eye to have both of the uh, ends on either side. I'm hoping this is a fully... Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so far we're looking good for that fully new uncirculated or very lightly circulated. Look at that. That looks amazing. That actually really does look super cool. There is not a single, not even a single imperfection for the most part there, if you see that. Uh, what a shame to open this roll, but we do it for you guys here at Coin Roll King. So let's go ahead and bring a few of these out and, and really take a closer look at, you know, how they're set up. This one here almost looks like it's uh, silver. That's funny. You can tell it's not, but it almost does look like it's just a little bit of a different layout there. But let's go ahead and just dump all of these out right here. And guys, I'm telling you, these are definitely unique pieces to have. And what I'm probably going to do with these, I'm probably going to end up putting them inside of... Uh, I've got one of these tubular tubes here. And we're probably just going to stack them inside of here. Since it is a new roll, I'd like to try to preserve it um, as best as possible. But as you can see here, these are all going to be more or less the uh, there we go, Dr. Sally Ride. So I believe that would be that would be her name there, Dr. Sally Ride. But this one appears to have some damage there, but let's see. I hope the machine didn't mess them all up, or is that, that might be part of the wave that goes through her name. I guess that probably isn't a wave, it's, well, I couldn't really tell you what it is, but it's definitely uh, interesting. Uh, these do appear to have some, they, they do appear to be already pretty scratched up, actually, even inside of this new roll, now that I'm looking at them, but it's still super cool to hold an entire roll of new quarters what do you guys think about these do you guys like the design i think they did a really good job with the uniform as well um pretty sure you can tell that's more than likely like a nasa uniform there um super neat oh this one looks like it's in better condition slightly and what do you guys think of these new washington head quarters do you, do you like them? Do you not like them? Yeah, these uh, these some of these look like they are already. Uh, I wouldn't say circulated, but I think probably if they put them through the coin sorter or like machines, um, I'm pretty sure some of those machines pick up some good amount of dirt, dust, uh, things that ride in from other coins. So just sitting there. They probably definitely, uh, you know, go through it. But for the most part, they still have all of their luster. Um, let's see some of these other ones. Yeah, it looks like it's already... I'm not sure. It almost feels like the material, like, like this... Uh, I don't know if this is a zinc coating on the outside. But it almost feels like it's... Uh, it's different. It almost feels like these were already polished or something. I'm not sure if that's just because they're so new. Or I just haven't uh, played with new quarters in a while. Let me know what your guys' experience, uh, experiences are in the comments with these. If you've uh, had a chance to check them out. Let me kind of do something like this. I want to see if I can... Uh oh, I'm dropping them now. I was trying to get a nice little screen grab of these. But let's go ahead and throw these inside of the tube there. So yeah, guys, that's kind of a sneak peek of this really nice roll of the new 2022 Washingtons that we've got. We're going to let these slide into this tube here. 
and I'll give you guys another look of the rim, how it looks with that rim on there. And I think I've got a few more hiding out over here. I was wondering why it wasn't sitting close to the base there. But there it is, guys. This is our new 2022 roll here. We've got all of that there. Oh, see, perfect. That lined up perfectly. Got one on each side. So we can always look at that there. And now on to our box that we've got to the side here. We'll kind of set these coins off to the side as well. Um, we'll be able to maybe work up some videos on these down the line. I think, again, out of all of these, this and the 1976 were my favorite finds of this uh, roll. So I'm glad I did pick up that additional roll, spotting that uh, bicentennial there. And let's get... Uh, well, I guess I can show you guys pocket change real quick and we'll get that one out of the way as well So pocket change What we've got for pocket change look at that. We've got another one of those bicentennials So like I said, I've been spotting a lot of these bicentennials um, In pocket change and at work. So that's why I decided to keep that one. I do enjoy me a good bicentennial this 2011, uh, probably no good reason I kept this. That was probably literally pocket change, and it just slipped in there. Sorry about that. Uh, this 1987, I think I just enjoyed the... Well, actually, that might be the same thing. That's Sorry about that, guys. I guess I didn't plan this out too well. This definitely is not copper, um, or at least not 95% copper. I think in 82 is when we did the change. And that should be correct. So we'll set that off to the side. I'll try to think exactly why that slipped in there. Uh, and then this 1977, although we've got some of those kind of, I think that probably wouldn't be any mint damage. That would be like an actual scratch. Like one of those Scarface scratches that, uh, I don't know if it was done to it. I hope not intentionally. I don't uh, appreciate people who intentionally damage coins like that. But this 1977, of course, fully, well, I guess 95% copper. We've got one of those uh, fingerprints back there. But overall, pretty decent coin for a 1977. I think that's looking at almost 50 years or so. Uh, this one was nice as well. Uh, Theodora Roosevelt, North Dakota coin, 2016. Just didn't have this one here. So, um, again, just wanted to add it to the collection. And last but not least, we've got a, another one of those 2014. I'm not sure. Yeah, this was probably, there was probably a few pennies that I kept on me trying to, you know, secure pocket change and those just slipped in. So this is our mini episode of pocket change here. These three coins. And let's get right into this bad boy. So... This was not something that I had to buy, per se. This was just more or less something that I wanted to buy. Um, it's not a coin. It is something that is good for coins. And I'm hoping by the box size, you guys can already have somewhat of an idea of what it is. Um, some of you might guess it faster than others, just kind of depending on the length and if you've ever had to let's say send your coins off for certain services that should be a dead giveaway for most people there so let's see uh, what we've got here i'm just trying to make sure that i don't have any of the oh there we go so you can see that there nice and it looks like we've got a gold box i'm not sure if gold would be the uh, authentic, well not the authentic, the original color that this comes in. We're going to go ahead and make it rain. Little fuzzies there. But um, I do like this gold coloring. I thought I was going to be receiving more of a, uh, like an all black box. But this gold color is pretty unique as well. kind of like that. It's super neat. Celebrating 35 years, PCGS. 
So let's go ahead and check this out. This is something that I myself have been wanting for a while. Um, and the reason being is that I've been wanting to start really focusing on these kind of, uh, I guess, like slapped coins. Slapped coins that would go into your actual, um, you know, holders, things, things of that nature. Graded coins. And this here, I'm not sure what this says. Raw 50 slash eco FedEx. Matt Lerner. Sorry, Matt. Didn't mean to throw your name out there, but thanks for the uh, thanks for the holder. And I'm not sure what all this information is here. Maybe I can check that out later to see if I can find whatever coins were originally delivered inside of this package. But such a just a super cool box. Ah, oh, there we go. I was wondering how you open this. It kind of opened from one side and not the other. I was wondering how that went. I didn't want to break it or force it into place or anything. So, PCGS, celebrating 35 years. That there is nice. Let's go ahead and, oh, let's go ahead and check it out here. And I know this is NGC. I think most of them are around the same size. I'm hoping so because I do have a few of these NGC coins. I have a few of other coins, so I'm hoping they all fit generically. I'm almost positive they do. But I'll give you a sneak peek at this one here. I've reviewed this on the channel before. Uh, although this is a 1921, and of course we all know 1921s are of the higher actual uh, mintage or production since it was the last year and the last run that they did these i believe this is probably right around the 40 million uh mintage for this 21 uh ms62 definitely take it i really i bought this uh slab here more or less because i really enjoyed the the american flag on the background here and i do like how they added a touch of that Morgan the Peace Dollar, 100th anniversary. As you guys know, uh, 1921, may or may not know, actually. That's a fun fact in case you didn't know. 1921 was the year that we transitioned from Morgan to Peace Dollars. So you will find 1921 for both items. If I'm not mistaken, for the 1921, the majority of them, or I think all of them, were considered high relief. Um... And in 1921, for the peace dollars, there was only about 1,006,473 of these peace dollars minted in 1921. So I think if you do find a 1921 peace dollar, it definitely is going to be worth a pretty penny. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this here so you can see those uh, MS-62 details. You can see there is some... Some light scratching to this, but uh, again, I love Morgan dollars. I really do, and um, I really don't care about the scratches. A coin this old that has a few scratches, it's like, to me, it's it's like whatever. So let's go ahead and throw this in there and see how it fits. I'm hoping it fits well, but you never know, I guess, right? Ooh, and this is... It is ever so slightly smaller, I guess. So, I'm not sure if you guys knew that. It doesn't look like it'll slide onto the next one, which is nice. And I'm not sure if they just did that as a uh, as an area so it has room for play. But as you can see, it definitely, when you push it to the one side there, it definitely has some leeway. It definitely w it wouldn't it wouldn't slide over to the next one, but there it is. Actually, let's throw this. Throw it right back here. So that's our number one coin that would be going into our new amazing PCGS, celebrating 35 years. I think this one here might have been one of the newer boxes. Oh, don't tell me it doesn't close. Yeah, it does. Right please they don't sit higher do they nope. 
I hope they don't. Let's see. Uh, if it's there. Well, that's going to be a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that might sit a little higher, the NGC holder. Man. If that is the case, I'm going to have people watching this video that were like, that's not going to fit as soon as I did the unwrapping of that NGC coin. That is a little bit sad, though. I wish that it did fit. I almost want to make it fit, but I don't want to break the case or the holder or anything. We might still use it anyways. We might just kind of leave it lopsided like that. Or throw our uh, <laughs> throw all of our NGCs on the side. Or I guess maybe we're just gonna have to not buy NGCs, huh? Or buy a separate box or something. Anyways, we shall figure that out. We are approaching a 30-minute video, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this out here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Definitely make sure if you have not yet to hit that like button. Definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you guys joining me for this journey we had today with our pocket change, our Loomis rolls, and our new uncirculated or very lightly circulated 2022s. And of course this PCGS. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one. Peace.